How is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, the show where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Today, in episode number 155, we're going to be breaking down the news that came out recently where the Bears, where the Bears finally moved on from Javon Wims, placing him on waivers. What does this mean for Rodney Adams and other wide receivers? Today, we're going to be discussing it all in this brand new episode. Before I get into it, I would like to say, Keep up the support, guys, wherever you are listening right now. We're trying to get you content each and every day or whenever we can. We're we're pretty busy people, but we're on the grind for you guys, trying to get you guys content each and every day and trying to bring you guys the most comprehensive Bears coverage on the web. I am your host, Chris Malpe. Today, to talk about this news that we saw coming for a while, I'm joined with my co-host, Jalen McClinton. Jalen, what's going on, man? How have you been? It's been a minute. Uh, going back to school is not ideal. Yeah, no, same here. I'm 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 pretty busy, man. <laughs> Getting back to that school schedule sucks, especially for me when I was waking up at like eleven o'clock every day. Now I you know having to get up early to get ready for school. It's not very fun, but um other than that, you know, season starts um, you know, in two weeks and can't wait. Yeah, uh a lot to look forward to. Uh I think one of the best parts about coming back to school is just that obviously football season's right around the corner. Like we're yeah. almost here. So there's yeah. a lot to look forward to. The Bears making some interesting moves, cutting Javon Wims today. Jalen, a little bit shorter of an episode today. Not sure if we're even going to hit the 10 minute mark. Just wanted to get something out tonight. But let's start right here, Jalen. I mean, obviously, we saw this move coming for a while, and Wims was someone who had some memorable moments, not for the greatest reasons with the Bears, specifically against the New Orleans Saints. Uh, obviously, the situation last year where the Bears. Obviously not the greatest game offensively, but finally we're gaining some momentum. Nick Foles was starting to lead some good drives. He punches Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, and it all goes downhill from there and turns into a an, an absolute crapshoot, if I'm being completely honest. And then obviously the drop touchdown pass on the perfectly scripted play by Matt Nagy, a great throw by Mitchell Trubisky in the 2021 wild card round against the Saints once again. So obviously some disciplinary issues for Wims. He hasn't really been the same player that he was, a former seventh-round pick out of Georgia. Long story short, Jalen, do you think the Bears should have moved on earlier, or do you think this was proper timing for this to happen? And did you see it coming? I, I think I'm opposite of, like, a lot of Bears Twitter. A lot of Bears Twitter wanted him released, um, you know, months ago. I, I wasn't a part of that um, that minority. I, I, I really liked Javon on the team. He was a seventh-round pick. I don't know, you know if that was a minority, by the way. <laughs> no, nah, it was – Oh, okay. You're right. I think I'm part of the minority that that did, yeah, you know, yeah, that wanted him to stay around yeah. a little longer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, I well, no, I wasn't I wasn't pushing for him to be released like everybody else. Let me say that. So I wasn't part of that minority, should I say? Um, but um, I, I started to expect, it, especially once you know Rodney Adams, he performed really well in our last two preseason games. Um, so I was like, who, who is he going to make the roster? Because in my opinion, he definitely should over Riley or, or Javon, and you know we've seen that Javon gets cut. I know we're going to talk about uh, Rodney later in this episode, but um, no, I, I don't think we should have moved on from him earlier. You know, let him come in back into training camp in his fourth off season, and let him compete for a job. And you know, obviously, he can do that. So, yeah, and I mean. Looking back on the history of this podcast, I think the two players like around when we started that you and I both honed in on from that 2018 draft class was me with Javon Wims and then you with Kevin Tolliver. I remember back in the day, um, I was yeah. huge on Javon Wims coming out of college. But I think we all were, especially after his, his, uh, his Hall of Fame game. Yeah, uh, and you know, he's someone who's put up some decent numbers when he's gotten opportunities. I don't think he really panned out as that deep ball uh, high point catching wide receiver that we thought he was going to be mm -hmm. uh, throughout his time in Chicago. Only 28 catches, 266 yards, 9.5 yards per reception, a long catch of 37 yards, which could have been different had he caught a ball that was a touchdown, about 50-yard bomb for Mitch. Uh, and he had two career touchdowns. Uh, but, you know, I don't know if he essentially should have been caught earlier, but I definitely saw it coming. Um, Rodney Adams, as you said, someone we're going to get onto a little bit later, has performed well. We've seen Riley Ridley kind of turn it up a little bit this offseason, but he's still been underwhelming for sure. But Wims' time was, was coming to a close eventually at some point. And just with the draft capital that we put into him and the amount of opportunities we gave him, he just didn't pan out to be the player that we wanted here in Chicago. So 
Uh, a little bit disappointing. Definitely saw it coming, and similar to Anthony Miller, someone who also is no longer on the Bears, there were definitely some disciplinary issues there. Uh, so we'll see what happens with Wims' future. But let's move on to a brighter spot. Rodney Adams, someone whose stock is definitely rising uh, based on this news, same with guys like Riley Ridley and John Vea Johnson that are fighting for the last couple of roster spots. Uh, when it comes to wide receivers, Jalen, I tweeted out earlier, I know you were a little bit mad at me for not responding to you uh, <laughs> over text because I was at work all day, but I said my predicted wide receivers are going to be Robinson, Mooney, Goodwin, Bird, Newsom, Rodney Adams, and then we'll see about Ridley and John Vea Johnson, but it helps all of their stocks. So what do you think Rims, Wims' his release uh, means for Rodney Adams? Are, are you locking him in to make this lineup? Yeah, like I said, uh, I texted the group chat. I was like, yeah, Rodney Adams is a lock. Uh, Chris disagreed and then agreed on Twitter. <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely feel like Rodney's going to make this roster. Well, he could play time in the regular season. Who, who knows? But him making this roster after everything he's, he's been through is a, it's a step in the right direction for him. And I can, can't be more proud of, you know, to have him on this team. He, he mm -hmm. uh, signed him on the practice. I think we signed him in off season last year. And yeah. uh, he ended yeah. up being on the practice squad um, the whole season. Um, and you know, obviously, he's he's he got he signed a, a future reserves contract, and now he's uh you know played well enough in these last two preseason games. Had a had a great catch from Fields, um you know where he completely mossed the dude, and you know um and then a great I, catch from Dalton where he completely yeah. mossed the dude for a and seventy three yard touchdown. Yeah. So Ronnie Adams definitely deserves to be on this roster. He's probably been our best wide receiver in preseason. Only really wide receiver I can think of that has really showed anything. Now that I, uh, now that I can think about it. So um. Yeah, I, I definitely think he makes this roster. Um, the first NFL roster he's, he'll he'll ever make. Yeah. You know, uh, he hasn't yeah. technically been on a, a active regular season roster. He hasn't he hasn't made a regular season catch uh, in his four years of technically being in the league. So, uh, I'm definitely excited for for this opportunity for him. Yeah, I wouldn't essentially call him a journeyman. No, because Rodney Adams has never had time playing in the league. He's yeah. actually, I believe, been rostered for one career game with the Minnesota Vikings and didn't do anything. Um, but he was he's a former fifth round pick. I think people have to remember that from 2017. Uh, and he was waived by the Vikings in 2017, re-signed to their practice squad. Then he went to the Colts on a future reserves contract. He was placed on the reserve retired list. I'm not sure if he actually retired or not. Um, yeah, he did. He retired. Yeah, he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm reading right here on his Wikipedia page. And he was reinstated uh, just about, looks like, nine months later. So didn't know if he was going to have a future in the NFL. He signed with the Bears last year, was released in the final roster cuts on September 5th, added to the practice squad a day later, signed another future reserves contract with the Bears this offseason. And I think he's going to make this roster. I also, I mean, I'm sure we'll probably make eventually a whole podcast about him and just some underrated players on the Bears to look out for before the season gets underway. Yeah. But I, I, I see some opportunities where he could get some playing time because it honestly seems like he might be the player that we were looking for in Javon Wims, someone who's a speedy, deep ball wide receiver who can go high point the ball. He's proven that he can do that. Now has he had some drops in the opportunities I've seen him at camp. Yes, Riley Ridley's probably had more drops. I think out of <laughs> all of the backup wide receivers – Rodney Adams and John Vea Johnson have surprised me the most, and I definitely think Rodney Adams is going to make this roster. So kudos to him. The Wims, uh, Wims getting caught, I wouldn't say. Uh, actually, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I've been back and forth on it because I don't know. Uh, it, it's a little risky guaranteeing roster spots, roster spots to players who have never played a game, but I'm confident in how Rodney's played uh, throughout training camp and the preseason. And I do think he makes this roster. So good for him, a sign of the times for sure. And he's finally going to get his first opportunity, hopefully in the NFL, uh, after having a baby girl and showing out in uh, a preseason game. So kudos to him. He's really earned it. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode number 155 of Uncut. Do us a favor before you go, drop a like, subscribe, follow us if you haven't already. And if you're listening in on YouTube, watching it on YouTube, 
do us a favor. Go down in the comments. Let us know what you think about the whims cut. And should Rodney Adams make this roster? Uh, I think a lot of people are rallying around him as this offseason continues as we progress towards week one. If you want more content from us, head over to our website, BearDown.com. We're posting columns, articles, and blogs to get you guys ready for the 2021-2022 season. If you would like to find the podcast on social media, you can find it on Instagram and Twitter at BearDown. That's a way to see special guests that we plan on having on which we are planning on having on hopefully later this week we're working on some stuff you can also enter our giveaways that we do every once in a while more specifically during the season we're definitely going to be giving away a justin fields jersey maybe some bears tickets here and there and you can also let us know what you want to see on the channel it's a great way to keep uh stay in the loop with what we're doing and also interact with us if you would like to find our personal pages on social media, man, I am rambling on forever. If you'd like to find our personal pages, the links to those are also in the description. Our Instagram and Twitter page is definitely worth following. You can see our thoughts on all things Bears, the National Football League, and the entirety of Chicago sports. Jalen McClinton, you know, I, I think – when I look back on this offseason, it's definitely been the most interactive in terms of us paying attention to training camp, us, some of us going to training camp, getting uh, all indulged, I guess, with the Bears. So talking about players like Rodney Adams, talking about players like Jesse James, under the radar guys that I've loved throughout camp that are going to make this roster, uh, it, you know, it honestly puts a smile on my face and I could talk about it all day. But any last words before we close this one out? Um. Hopefully we start posting more consistent. Um, seasons back, we're crazy. more consistent than we were in the summer for sure. For I mean, sure. I mean, it, it just in we had no excuse not to be consistent in the summer. There was just nothing going on. But not this is all. really the grind. This is what we embrace, man. Yeah, season four for us, which is crazy. Season two, funny. legitimately covering it. For being honest, <laughs> yeah. But season four, um, hopefully, hopefully we we break the um, you know two times in the playoffs, you know, one time's not. So uh, that's about it right now. Yeah, uh, a lot to look forward to this season. We're looking to hit 5,000 subscribers. The Bears are looking it's for – oh Yeah, yeah, wow. The Bears are looking for a fourth consecutive uh, year without a losing record and also their second consecutive playoff berth in the last two seasons. Rodney Adams looking to make the roster. We're getting closer and closer to week one. There's so much to look forward to. Let's get him a first I, 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 I think we've said the name Justin Fields maybe once in this podcast, which is just astounding considering I'm how really, much coverage we've been doing on I'm him. Yeah, you talked about how he caught the deep, yeah. uh, Adams caught yeah. the deep ball from him. But, guys, we're going to keep coming back as much as we can. I'm not going to promise each and every day, but we're really trying hard to shoot for content each and every day for you all. You're going to be getting a pregame show tomorrow to Bears versus Titans, week three of the preseason. Justin Fields starting. It's been a pleasure to be your host, guys. Once again, my name is Chris Malpe. And Bears fans, as always, do us a favor and stay safe in Bear Down. We'll see you tomorrow. Back again with a pregame show before the regular season. Peace you know, you're out. rambling, bro. <laughs> <laughs>